February the 20th, it's going to March then. So, cracking on with building the uh, fruit orchard on this side and decided against just putting a plastic sheet down and digging all the roots out and they'll put down where I want the trees. So, started digging from up here yesterday, all these slabs, it's got me back. So, I did this top bit yesterday, I put in a blueberry pink lemonade. That's for Kev. <laughs> Blueberry blue crop, another blue crop, and then here we've got a big fruit, Vicascarica. And then from the, where the slabs are, there, put those slabs down today. Boing. Um, and then this next bit, I've run out of energy. I've only got one more slab to move, or two possibly. Literally, can't I've got no more energy for that. So this bit here is going to be where I'm going to put um, cause I've got a yellow variety of raspberry over at the far side on a red variety here. So this will be for my raspberries. I'm going to have to stick it on that so it goes out on that. So yeah, dug all that yesterday and today because I was off yesterday. Pretty good. Going. And then that polytunnel, I've got another one. That's going to come to the side and I'll make a decision on whether I'm going to get netting over it, make another vegetable orchard in front of there, or whether I want two polytunnels. I can't make it end up. So, we've got all this to get in there. Whether that's tomorrow's job, I'm not sure because I've got some blue beans I want to put in. And this is going to be my best time now to be able to uh, sow as wet. Sudden. So, I'll just do a quick sow. See. So, my new thing, I'm hoping. It's not ripped, it blew, blew over, so not even attempting to put it on while it's windy. Um, hopefully, tomorrow we'll know. Uh, thinking this cherry tree I might move that over to a few orchards as well. It just hasn't taken off there at all, and it doesn't feel dead when I feel it. Oh, bloody holes. This needs digging and all. I like the crazy paving in here though. Oh, what's that what's coming up? Oh, that is. Just needs digging all there. No rush. I'm going to keep this one. It's uh, what that one is. But this is where I'm going to have my chickens. Yeah, I'll just help. So I'm going to keep these two trees here. It's right. A little bit of shelter when I've got the chickens anyway, won't it? I don't know what this one is. So yeah, got some trees here. I mean, to be honest, part of me is wondering whether to put the trees down here. I've already got them at back because that soil is looking quite good at the minute. I'm digging up. So still got some leeks to pick. I'll pick them tomorrow. needs to get over as well yeah so it's going on down it my mind up with oh fences fences blown over oops <laughs> it's a mad issue gonna be well be all the way all winter it's been that cold it's probably dead <laughs> the, the kale there back all those little cabbages did they <laughs> so this is, I don't know what to it's in the yellow raspberries do I move them over there and we'll keep them here keep them here getting all those slabs at the side it's taken there anyway move them you don't know do you <laughs> little Christmas tree farm now I can see fish I just hope they're alive and survived the winter What's that? Oh, it's a, it's a snail I've had. Oh, look. 
Oh, what's going on now? Oh, oh some little dangling out of it. Oh. Gale tonight. <laughs> it's a job. I'm gonna have to try somehow try and rescue it from snow. And then tomorrow's job is I'm gonna get. I've got two different varieties of broad beans because I love broad beans. It's my favourite. So the top bed's gonna be the aqua, whatever they're called, and then another variety I've got in this bit. So I'll get them in tomorrow. I can't have. I can't have enough broad beans. Right. That's me done. Get the wellies off and get home.